KGUN 9, on your side at 5, starts now. Nearly three years ago, Emelise Tellez Lopez died after being left in a bathtub. She was only three years old. Today, a man was sentenced on felony child abuse charges in the girl's death. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. The man charged in Amelise's death, the mother's live-in boyfriend. He changed his plea to guilty last year, was sentenced today. Now your side's Whitney Clark joins us live with the story. Whitney. Alberto Robles was sentenced to one year in jail and 15 years probation. He's going to get credit for time, to, uh, time served, about five months. Now, according to reports from the Arizona Department of Child Safety, the incident happened in April of 2014. Robles was watching Amelise. According to the report, Robles said he left her in the bathtub with water running and stepped out for a couple of minutes. Upon returning, he found her face down in the tub and said the girl must have fallen. Emergency services were reportedly not caught contacted until about 45 minutes later. Amelise was taken to the hospital with an anoxic brain injury and died days later. Now, according to DCS, it had received three prior reports alleging abuse or neglect of Amelise by her mother, Veronica Tellis and or Robles. In one case, the caller said Amelise had some minor injuries, including a scratch on her forehead and some bruising. However, the reports were investigated and unsubstantiated. An online obituary for the young girl said, quote, everyone that came in contact with Amelise would say she was a ray of sunshine, so bright and so happy. Amelise was a strong angel who was full of laughter, who was smart, loving and caring. Her smile would light up a room. She was loved by all who met her and will be greatly missed. Amelise's mother had initially faced child abuse charges in this case, but those charges were dropped in December of 2015. We did reach out to her attorney, but she did not want to comment on the case. Guy, Stella. Thank you, Whitney. A Pima County child is the first in the state to die from the flu this season. County and state health officials confirm a child less than two years of age has died from the virus. They say even though this flu season has been mild, it can still pose a threat to children and the elderly. Those of us who have children, I have a 10 year old and a seven year old, those of us who have children um, need to make sure that our kids are vaccinated. And our very youngest children are our, 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 our infants who are not yet of vaccination age need to be surrounded, need to be cocooned with a family, with caretakers that are actually vaccinated. Health officials say it's also important to take everyday preventive actions like covering coughs and sneezes, staying away from sick people and washing your hands often. And now we shift to an overnight wreck on the north side. One man killed as he drove home from work. The crash took place on Trico at Brawley Wash. Pima County deputies say the driver hit the guardrail at full speed. The truck flipped, landed on its roof on the side of the road. A morning jogger saw the damage to the guardrail, the truck, and then called Sheriff's Department. Police in Sierra Vista are gearing, gearing up for body cameras. Officers will now be equipped with a recording device that can protect both officers as well as the public. Now your science, Jennifer Martinez has more on how these cameras will benefit both parties. In a matter of seconds, anything can happen. For officers, many times they go into situations blind, not knowing what can happen. Here at the Sierra Vista Police Department, officers have been asking for body cameras for a few years. They really want them. They understand that it offers them some protection uh, for, from, from citizen complaints. Uh, at least those complaints that, that have no merit. Majority of patrol cars are equipped with cameras. Police Chief Adam Thrasher says these body cameras aren't much of a change. Only difference is officers will have cameras on them, documenting the interaction between both the public and the police officer for both of their protection. The interaction with the public, they know it's being recorded, so both the, the public's behavior has been shown to improve as well as the officer's. As soon as officers approach a situation, what will happen then is they will tap their body camera twice. 
And once the red light starts blinking, the body camera is now recording from the officer's point of view. The cost of the body cameras is just under $400,000 for a five-year contract. Money for the cameras came from RICO funds, money seized from criminals to fight crime. Training is complete and officers will now be required to turn on those cameras for every interaction, except for privacy instances such as bathrooms and locker rooms. In Sierra Vista, Jennifer Martinez, Kagan 9, on your side. Ernst & Young opened a new support center in Tucson, bringing more than 125 jobs to the old Pueblo. The new jobs will focus on executive administrative support, creative graphics, and digital services. The center is in a temporary space in downtown until the permanent location is ready. It's expected to be ready in the fall. A spokesperson for Ernst & Young said downtown Tucson has undergone a great revitalization. They look forward to being a part of the growing community. Another company ready to bring more jobs to Arizona a $7 billion investment by Intel. It